Hello, welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the hardest working channel in all of cryptocurrency. Going to do something a little bit different today in today's video, kicking it back old school to the way I used to do my videos. Uh, the reason being, usually on Tuesdays we do a live stream, but I'm actually moving today. Uh, and so I've got that going on, so don't really have time to do the live stream. So th there are a couple things that I need to address, though, and that I want to talk about with you guys. So I, I didn't want this opportunity to go by. So we hit 120,000 subscribers. So thank you to everybody for subscribing to the channel. As you guys know, we've absolutely blown up this year, 2020. It's been a bad year for everybody except for me. So thank you for helping me to have a great year. Uh, now, one thing that, uh, you know, we really strive to do on this channel is promote good projects, talk about things that are going to make people money. A lot of you guys have made a lot of money on stuff. We've talked about uh, some of the low cap gems. Obviously, a lot of that stuff is very, very, very speculative. And I really enjoy being a content creator. I like making YouTube videos. I like having an audience. Uh, I, I like sharing my life with you guys and you guys with me. Uh, you know, it, it's a good thing. We've cultivated a, a very, very good community. For the most part, being a content creator is great. Uh, there are some negatives, obviously. Uh, I, I live a very public life. Some people would say too public. Uh, I, I don't care about, uh, you know, having a public life. That's that's not that big of a deal. Um, it, also, you know, a lot of trolling, a lot of hate, a lot of organized hate uh, that comes from other content creators, communities, or uh, people that are involved in a project that I may not like, I may not talk about, uh, and things like that. Uh, and then you're obviously just going to have trolls, and, and that's that's fine. That, that stuff doesn't really bother me. Honestly, my haters are what m motivate me. So the more hate that I'm given, uh, the more it legitimizes me, in my opinion. So um, I, I don't dislike that stuff. It, it doesn't bother me. It bothers a lot of people. doesn't bother me. Uh, we've worked very hard on this channel and the history of this channel to never promote scams. That's what we, I mean, if you look back in the history of every project we've looked at, yes, people have to say, this one's a cash grab or this one's this or this one's kind of scammy. But in terms of actual like exit scams, rug pull scams, uh, you know, Ponzi schemes. We've managed to stay away from that on the channel. We've been very proud of that. Uh, today is one of those days where I don't necessarily really enjoy being a content creator because uh, we have broken that streak, not just once, but possibly twice in the span of 24 hours. And it, it's not good because I know there are people out there chomping at the bit uh, to call me a scammer because people love that, you know, uh, it gets people clicks, it gets people views, you know, the whole thing, which is fine that, you know, people have different strategies. Uh, not everybody can just create great content, you know, so some people have to find cheap ways to get clicks and things like that, uh, like clickbait and uh, elaborate thumbnails. I would never do those things, guys. I probably just clickbaited you to click this video. But uh, the point here is, is that people are chomping at the bit to call me a scammer and all this stuff because it can help them. And, you know, the thing is, is uh, today we give them ammunition. Here's some ammunition. Here you go. So, basically, uh, we got two things, and neither one of them are great. One of them is not a confirmed scam yet, but it is not looking good, and I want to share this with you guys because we did promote this company and... I myself pretty much got scammed by them as well. So, um, but let's let's talk about the one that I tweeted out yesterday, which was this. I deleted this tweet, so I don't have the actual tweet here. Now people say, "Oh, th this is where people are idiots." I say, "Oh, Bitboy's a scammer. He had this this thing that he promoted, and it turned out to be a scam. He deleted the tweet. What the? F you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna leave it up so more people can click and fall for it? Like, can you use logic? Is that a thing that happens?" So we got a little loosey-goosey with what we put on the old Twitter account, um, and we had this tweet that was given to me by um, my agent, and, you know, I, I don't know what kind of research went into approving this one, um, but, you know, on Twitter, we just kind of throw stuff out there. As Dow Finance, we build a decentralized finance application, give you the most, blah, 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 blah. Find Telegram community, it's Dow Finance, pre-sales live, hashtag ad. Okay. Now, if you see this and you immediately go put a bunch of money into this project and you see it's an ad and you do no research, then, ah, you know, you got to be careful. But it's my responsibility. I put it up there. I mean, I, I put it up there. That, that That's the truth. Um, I did not 
probably look at this as much as I could. I'm very busy, and sometimes, you know, stuff gets given to me. I pop it up. You don't know we have a full organization here. I got about 30 people that work for me. So this is not just me seeing something and being like, oh, yeah, let me research this. I don't have time to look into every single project. You know, uh, personally, I need shortcuts. I, I need people on my team to be able to look and say, hey, check this one out. We think this one's good. You know, can you throw this up? Can you do this? And when it comes to uh, tweets and pre-rolls, we... I think I've been looking at these the wrong way. I've been looking at these like, ah, they're not very much compared to like a dedicated review. So eh, we'll just go ahead and throw it up there, throw a hashtag ad on it, whatever. But uh, what I've seen over the last week is it actually should be a reverse. For the people that pay the lowest amounts to do anything sponsored or promoted on my channel, we should actually be doing the most stringent research on because they can get on for the cheapest amount. So uh, the point here is this, is I should not have put this tweet up. I did. I take full responsibility for it. I'm sorry to anyone that lost money in this. Uh, this was just a pre-fabricated uh, tweet by them. I just tweeted it, put ad on it, disclosed, but I shouldn't have done it. And so wh what are we going to do from here? Wh what are we going to do going forward? Th this apparently was a rug pull scam. Uh, as you guys know, I fell victim myself to a rug pull scam last week. Uh, my $39,500 in, you know, finance is now worth $68. How do you turn 63 ETH into, uh, what would that be, like 0.2 ETH? Uh, you just put it in, you know, you know. So anyway, so so we did this. We did this tweet. Uh, I take full responsibility for it. I know there are some people that did lose money in it. I apologize for that sincerely. Um, that's, you know, we're in a really speculative time, but what we're doing from here on, I'm not doing any more sponsor tweets. I didn't do sponsor tweets for years. I just started doing them because I haven't really put that much focus on Twitter. Started doing them probably about, probably about two months ago. Uh, no more sponsor tweets, no more pre-rolls. You won't see any pre-rolls or any sponsor tweets on this channel anymore. Just not going to do it. It's, it, it's not worth it, uh, for me to take hits on credibility for things that, um, you know, are, are just trying to save money to put something out because a lot of times that can lead to a scam. So that's that's what we're doing. We're not doing any more sponsor tweets. We're not doing any more pre-rolls on this channel. Um, I understand like for some people, they can throw stuff on their Twitter and people are okay with it. They just throw stuff up there and boom, that's all they care about. Uh, they put ad on it and they're like, you know what? If you don't like it, F you, if it's a scam, do your own research, blah, blah, blah. We've created a different standard on this channel. And you know, that's why we, that, that's why I can't do things like just on the bottom of a description, throw in like, hey, this segment is sponsored. I say it audibly on every video. I didn't do it one time, like, you know, six months ago, and I promised I would never do that again. When we make mistakes on this channel, we learn from them and we do different things. And so, um, you know, th this is how we're going to solve that problem. Now, the next one, it's not good, guys. It's not good. Uh, this one is Burst X. Now, I said on this video where I promoted Burst X that uh, I never take tokens for uh, promotion, but I did on this one, and it's true. So I, I literally, in real dollars, made zero dollars in promoting this, but my team was very, very confident in this one. Very confident in this one. So confident that they told me, you should take the tokens on this one. Uh, and so... That's what we did, you know. Now, they were only offering tokens, which, come on, guys. Let's use our brains here. Uh, I should have used my own as well. So, they offered us tokens, and we accepted it for this deal. And, unfortunately, um, it's looking like this has turned into something pretty sketch. Now, one fortunate thing is they were very complicated to buy these Burst X tokens. You had to buy Burst and then transfer it over. Well, the Burst team has now officially disavowed themselves from Burst X. And they are now saying, which they didn't say anything before, but now they're saying, we have absolutely nothing to do with this. This is their own thing. They created a token on our platform. Nothing, nothing, nothing to do with it. While this was blowing up and getting big, they certainly, certainly weren't saying anything. Um, but, you know, my team really liked the team for Burst X. Uh, they said these people have been in the business since 2016, looked all of them up. If you watched our Burst X review, we talked a lot about the team, maybe too much about the team. Uh, this this is where we really felt they were the strongest. Well, either one of two things has happened. Okay, Either, and we're still trying to get evidence on exactly what has happened here, uh, either all of these people are scammers and have been in this long con for years, or either 
all of these people aren't actually on the team. Some of these people claim they had no idea that they were even on this website. So it makes researching very hard when you get to the point where you say, like, okay, with cryptocurrency and with projects, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually contact directly every person on the team page and talk to them and then hope that we actually have their, you know, real page and we're not talking to an impersonator or a scammer. It, it, you know, it's, it's very difficult in this business due to the newness and the lack of information about stuff. Obviously, if I was doing a review on Microsoft computers, okay, doing a review on Microsoft, which I'd give a scathing review because I'm an Apple guy, but if I were doing a review on Microsoft, like, there's tons of information out there to corroborate that Microsoft is a big company and that they're legit um, in terms of, you know, maybe not making great computers, but in terms of actually, you know, producing products and making income and, and things like that. But when it comes to cryptocurrency, we don't have these because all of these projects are so new. And so you can really just go by what you see. If we spent 24 to 40 you know, 24, 35, 40 hours researching every project, we wouldn't get any videos done on this channel. So you have to understand when we're talking about do your own research, this is what we mean. You have to take the responsibility for your own financial decisions into your own hands. You take what we talk about on videos, you go and you look and you say, hey, I think this looks legit. Or you say, hey, you know what? Even though they talked about this, I don't think this is legit. But if you do make the decision to say you want to invest in something, then at that point, like, that is your decision. You can't put that on anybody else. Uh, I have certainly, and I tell you guys this all the time, I'm way riskier with my own money than I am with your money. So if I talk about something on the channel, um, specifically a review or segment or whatever, I'm pretty confident that it's not a scam. You know, I, I'm pretty confident um, that people are not going to lose money in an exit scam. Now, Look, the markets are bleeding right now. So, of course, obviously, when the markets are bleeding, people are going to be losing money. And I understand that. That's a, that's all part of this. That's why you guys got to learn to take profits when you're up a lot. Uh, I know I certainly did over the last two months, and I hope that you did as well. Um, but Burstex has disavowed, or Burst has disavowed themselves from Burstex. It's not a great situation. Um, and it, they're saying that, you know, people are saying that the smart contract was changed and that, you know, some people, like, are due a refund of Burstex, and some people have received it, and others have not. Uh, the tokens have not been dispersed, and if they do get dispersed, Burst has said they probably will not be worth anything. So, all of this is speculation at this point, because Friday is the deadline for these people to uh, basically send out refunds to all these people. But you do need to be prepared. It looks like that this is probably an exit scam. That's probably how it looks. And I, I certainly hope this is not the case, but I want to prepare you guys for this. It's not a good thing. Um, and we're never in, in cryptocurrency and in content creation. Here's the truth. I want you to hear this. We will never be able to protect you from scams. We just won't. We won't be able to do it because we can do all the research. And these companies are smart enough to know how everything checks out. They know if they can check this box, this box, and this box, it won't look like a scam. However, at the end of the day, you are sending money into something that is a third party. And that's what cryptocurrency is trying to ultimately eliminate, right? Like we're trying to get rid of third parties. But when you send your money into a third party, you are putting your fate into that third party's hands. And whenever you do that, there's a chance that you could lose the money. That's why you should never go all in on one project. Never put more, especially into something super speculative like a token sale, should never put more than you can afford to lose because you could lose it. I lost $40,000 last week, okay? It happens. Uh, I've made more than that in the last several months, okay? So I'm still on the plus side, okay? And that's important. If I would have put all of my money into that, in, you know, into the you know rug pull scam that I got, sucked into, you know, then I would have lost all my money. So you, you got to be careful on how you disperse your money. You have to be careful about how you allocate different things. But I did want to have this conversation with you guys because uh, it'd be easy for me to ignore this stuff and just hope it goes away and blah, blah, blah. But when I make a mistake, I will tell you guys I made a mistake. And that that's all it boils down to. 
I'm as honest as the day is long. I would never promote a scam on purpose, you know? Things like this make me, you know, try to go back to the drawing board and go back to my team and, and, and we say, okay, how can we prevent these things from happening in the future? Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, you know, whether, whether I talk about something from a, a sponsorship standpoint or just from a, you know, I uncover a, a project I want to talk about, at the end of the day, I'm not on these teams. So there's no way to 100%, you know, protect you guys uh, from this. But just know I'm always going to do my best. I'm always going to try uh, my best to make sure that we're not getting into uh, sketchy things here uh, on the channel. So uh, that's all I want to say. What I want to talk about, I'm sorry about uh, these things that occurred. Very unfortunate. Uh, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bitboy out.